Columbia Pictures. How do you feel about meat? Meat? Meat. Um, it's pretty good. Hit or miss, depends on what kind of meat. I'm not a big fan of pork. Carnage looks like he's made out of, like, string cheese meat. String cheese meat? Yeah. Like from the deli? Like the, 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 you know, the little grinder, the meat coming out of the grinder? Yeah, Carnage looks like he's made out of, like, hamburger beef. I'm not into that. I am. I think if I had to, <laughs> if I had to rank the symbiotes in terms of hotness, I'd say Venom wins. You're not into the Slim guys? Slim, Slim, Slim Jim guys? You're into the beef beefcakes? Oh, yeah. St. Estes. Reform school, Kyle. Is, that supposed to, is St. Estes supposed to be, like, a play on, like, estrus? Estrus being, um, you know, like, estrogen? No, am I thinking too hard about the stupid Marvel movie? Yeah, I think you're. I think you're. You're giving it too much credit. Is the English maid you're starting to show? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Oh, uh, it's P. Mulligan. Isn't he the one who gets toxin? Yeah, he's toxin. Yeah, Patrick Mulligan. Okay, back on my toxin show. Yeah. So actually, if you look at the concept art for um, Let There Be Carnage, her, her, there was supposed to be like a really intense special effect on her where her entire mouth would unhinge like a basking shark when she screamed. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll give you the um, link so you can put it up in the video. But okay. It uh, it looks really creepy. I actually liked it better. I I'm worried that that if they did do that, they would just like drown it with like bad CGI though. So I mean, in the concept art, it looks really yeah. freaky. Like you can see like yeah. the ribbing inside the mouth. It looks kind of really like gross. Melina from Mortal Kombat. No, worse. Worse. Okay. Yeah, it look. I actually I like this a lot. Where all the audio just completely goes muffled because they have the earplugs in. That is kind of cool. Yeah. This movie has a lot of like. Okay, is it a great movie? No. Nah. Does it have a lot of fun, like, little details? Yeah. Got rid of his horrible wig. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm actually kind of glad they got Woody Harrelson to play him instead of, like, some young hot guy because I don't think I could hit... Not that Woody Harrelson isn't a handsome boy, but I don't think that... I He's kind of hombre viejo, though. I hey, there's nothing... I have no problem with that. Venom. Venom. That's a late title card. Let there be what? Carnage. Carnage. Oh, look, it's Toxin. What color is he? Very white, currently. Stop trying to eat your grandson, Venom. I'm glad we're just like, like we're honestly, just, we're, we're, we're just, just in right it. We're just, it. we're just, we're just yeah. in it. Eddie, you are a loser. Eddie. 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 Give me Patrick Mulligan's head. Eddie, do you, have you ever heard of essential oils, Eddie? Okay, why are you making him sound like a special needs kid? I'm making him sound like an MLM girly. Eddie, if we get more people to sell essential oils under us, Eddie, we could be rich. I do like how, um, because they had, like, share memories that he's also super into Anne. Mm. I think that's really cute. Well, he has, like, he, like, they explained the end of this movie where I'm cutting ahead, but, like, but, like, he has, like, the hive mind of everyone in the vast multiverse. That's why he recognized Peter when he saw him in the end credit scene. Oh, Also, Cletus Cassidy, if he just painted, he could make bank. People love that kind of memorabilia. Well, he doesn't want to. He wants to kill people. Well, maybe he should apply himself a little just, bit. Just like that one scientist in that one Spider-Man comic where he's like, I <laughs> But I don't want to cure, cure cancer. cancer. I want to make people dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't establish... I, like, I know people had an issue with like, why is Venom suddenly getting more powers? And it's like, he could always kind of control Eddie. Well, he's just Remy from Ratatouille right now. Oh yeah, this is actually the Ratatouille sequel. But yeah, like you can see the tendrils coming out, forcing him to do things. So I don't think it's that far fetched. Some people had an issue with it, but whatever. I I didn't know that. I feel like this movie is too silly that I don't care about having too many issues with it. Like I just recognize. You don't care it about being, the rich lore. I don't I don't care. It's just I recognize it being dumb, and that's it. There's something really cute about the Web fact that find it. What happened to Bing? That was Andrew's universe. <laughs> There's something really cute about the fact that Venom only types with one finger on each hand, <laughs> like a grandpa. <laughs> Also, Eddie Ooh. having a whole thing of Skittles on his desk. Love of my life. Can I marry him? Because I love Skittles. And tentacles. No, mostly Skittles. The governor of California has overturned his moratorium and reinstated the death penalty for Cassidy. Imagine being such a horrible criminal that the entire state of California just decides, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular. Yeah. So did Anne invite him to the restaurant just to not feed him? Because, like, if somebody was like, I have something to tell you. Come come hang out with me. We'll, we'll go get some meat. Oh, we're not eating, by the way. I'd be upset. Don't worry, buddy. I'm buddy. Buddy. Don't buddy. worry, buddy. Venom's great. So having a symbiote would be great. I'm, I'm going to die on that. I hill. mean, this version of Venom is so chill, though. Compared exactly. to the other ones. The other ones are fucking awful. He's just a cool guy. So what do you think about the casting? Do you like Woody Harrelson as Cletus? I guess, yeah. I mean, he's not... He's not, uh, he doesn't have my disapproval, definitely. I don't disapprove. I'm sure he's very happy to hear that. <laughs> I think just even though I have fun watching this movie, I really don't care about it that much. Because it's like, first of all, they kill off Carnage in the end, and it's like, no Spider-Man, it's like, I don't know. 
You're like really obsessed with the no Spider-Man thing. I am. I think we should at this point just acknowledge there's no Spider-Man and be okay with it. Okay, fine. But even with that taken out, like it feels like it's just like a, a silly thing that didn't explore other things, and it's just like like not being rated R, not having Carnage die in the end. I feel so, like such a waste. I guess. Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <Cletus? laughs> yes. Yes. Get out! Take your stuff. Get out! Please, it's like a married couple. Get out. That's the point. This whole movie's a rom com. Look, he looks meaty. Ooh, I, I hate think so. Him. I hate him. He looks like a skinny person. Let, let me see him. Let me see him. Okay, I'm kind of getting into it now. I'm like, I'm like leaning over and everything. Doing the serious gamer forward pose. Yeah. He looks meaty. No, he looks cool. I think he looks cool. I'm not saying he doesn't look cool. I love, I'm just I, saying he I, makes I, me a little sick. And I love the black on his face too. Yeah, he always has that, right? Yeah, he always has that. Oh yeah, fucking f a fire alarm helping the PG-13 rating. It's not a fire alarm. Or the, the siren, the siren helping the PG-13 rating. Man, this could have been the raft. If Sony wasn't a bunch of pussies. <laughs> the Raft is in New York, though. Exactly! This whole movie could have been in New York. Exactly! <laughs> Wait, what is Cletus doing in fucking California? Carnage is so fuck them cops that he's just like, I'm gonna become a natural disaster. Trying really hard to preserve that PG-13 rating yeah. by becoming Red Tornado. Should have been rated R. That's so upsetting to me. It's so upsetting to me that Carnage is dead and we can't have a rated R. It's a stupid superhero movie. They come back from the dead all the time. The only Spider-Man character who has never ever come back from the yeah, dead ever is, is my girl Gwen Stacy. Well, she did in the other universe. But... Well, yeah, but I'm saying canonically in 616, yeah, six she's, six, she's forever dead. dead. This is dumb. Hold on, I almost said my quote. This is stupid because... Okay, I'm gonna say, this is so stupid because why can he hack into the government all of a sudden? His meat <laughs> tentacles can just access government files? Where is he going? Because if I stick my hands in a laptop, all I'm gonna get is pain. Okay! Look at her. Ah! <laughs> gotta, gotta preserve that PG-13 rating some more. Yeah, gotta get her out of screen. Today, and people are talking about seeing monsters. Why, why does he have a Boston accent? Why does he have a Boston accent in California? He's from Boston, Julia. People move. He's an implant. Whatever. By the way, that's what people are calling the Californians moving here. Implants. Ugh. It's like we're getting like influx of Californians moving to New York. Oh, get out. <laughs> so why is uh, Mrs. Chen okay with like, why isn't she dying? Because uh, it takes a while. Yeah, you're the big sexy hero. What is this? Because he likes Anne. What likes you, Dan? <laughs> okay, but this is stupid because... No, this is great. I love this. No kiss this time. Oh, they can hug. Dirty Dan is there. Dirty Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really like that. I like um... the scene, <laughs> <laughs> He's so polite to him. He's like, no, not you. You're good. <laughs> I love... I love for like... I guess casual viewers, it's like, oh yeah, this is Venom's kid. We never liked her anyway, so let's go. Oh, Venom. Yeah, this is where it kind of goes back into being like a CGI goo fight that I'm not wild about. Fire and sound! <laughs> Dirty Dan! Dirty Dan! Dirty Dan! Dirty Dan back at it again. Dirty Dan back at it again with the fire. Weakness to both humans and symbiotes alike. Weakness to literally every <laughs> living thing. <laughs> Slow as a bike, because we're trying to keep a PG-13. Well, no, because we're kill... trying to keep the tension up. And we don't want to kill Dirty Dan. No. Protect Dirty Dan at all costs. I kind of don't like what they did to Anne in this movie. Made her the... the... Yeah, she's like useless. She was pretty cool in the first one. She did shit. She just became Mary Jane in this one. Oh my god. Sam Raimi's uh, Mary Jane. Sam Raimi's fetish for screaming women. Right in the noggin. Let there be. That's the name of the movie. The movie, roll credits. And it feels like a lot like Gwen Stacy. Like when Peter's holding. This well, because he's... Is that, is that what this is supposed to be? I don't think this so. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 2 where, where he's like... No, because it's supposed to be showing that like... Father. <laughs> I love that he's referring to him as father. I'd rather he call him father than daddy. Yo, honestly, she never learns. Carnage has said like 15 times, please stop screaming, it hurts. Yeah. Wait, but Venom just kills her here. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Delicious. That's the one That's the one time they get to use that because it's PG-13. You get to say fuck once. Yeah. They're not going to be able to positively identify you if you're Venom. So I don't know why Eddie feels the need to be, become like a fugitive. Don't well, tell no, anyone you're Venom. Well, no, the cop after him because he broke out of the, of, the, of, the, of the interrogation room. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, oh, well. To, to Mexico we go. Sucks to suck, Eddie. Eduardo Brock. Eddie Eduardo. 
The chickens. I guess those chickens did not leave this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> They're super chill. This is just their home now. The toes. Hell yeah. Oh, tootsies. Look at those tootsies. Oh. We are so back. So in the end of No Way Home, he was like, let's go find a Spider-Man guy. And then he gets booted back to yeah, his Yeah, poor guy. Unfortunate. All right, rate, review, uh, potatoes, what? Potatoes? I don't know. Uh, this one's better than the first one. Yeah. Neither are really great movies. Yeah, they're... But I think this one's a lot more fun. Yeah. And I like Carnage. Carnage is cool. Uh, so what? any message you'd like to say to the lovely viewers? No. Okay. Thank you for watching. And um, next time I'm going to make Julia watch um, Rosa de Guadalupe. Okay. <laughs>